Hey there, everyone. We're here with Mike Pepe now of Hudson Entertainment, and we are looking at Lost in Shadow. Mike, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Now, tell us about Lost in Shadow. It, it, from what we've seen, it gives the gaming a whole new perspective, literally. Right, right. So, as gamers, we're always used to looking at and playing games in the foreground uh, and, and really ignoring the shadows. In, in Lost in Shadow, everything exists around shadows. You walk on shadows, you climb up shadows, you fight shadows. Um, you really have to kind of train yourself to adjust to the new kind of uh, gameplay. And tell us about this. It looks like a standard platformer, but there's all different kinds of interesting and unique puzzles based around the light sources and shadows in each level. Right. So if you can imagine a light source and anything you can do with a shadow and, and, and moving that light source to affect that shadow is what you're going to be doing in the game. So for instance, at one point, um, backing up a little bit, uh, you actually have a spangle, a little fairy that sits on your shoulder and she comes out and you can actually manipulate her to move the light source to affect the shadow. So let me say that again. She's going to move the light source to affect the shadow. She's going to make shadows go move uh, horizontally and vertically. She can actually push a, a light source. So uh, you'll actually see shadows start shaking back and forth. Um, and. Uh, and, and eventually things start getting really weird where you're going to be able to actually uh, move shadows within corridors so you're going to see the whole environment moving at one time. Uh, it's actually a very unique game. Very cool. Now, now, why are you trapped as a shadow? Tell us a little bit about the story. Right. So um, you start as a boy, just a standard boy, um, and your shadow is torn from your body and thrown over the uh, side of a tower. Uh, your shadow wakes up and has this spangled fairy on, her, on his shoulder, and um, his objective, as he knows it, is to get back to his body. But little did he know, the reason why he was thrown over this tower, the shadow was thrown over this tower, is that he needs to eventually climb up through this, the, all these areas and eventually back up this other tower to get uh, this bad, big bad shadow guy that's been inside this shadow tower and to get him out of there and free the souls that are inside. Very cool. And when can we expect to see Lost in Shadow out for the week? January 4th, 2011. Awesome. Mike, thanks for your time, man. Thank you.